Ever notice that some people recover really easily from colds, but others not so much? If every time you catch a sniffle, you dissolve into a three-week flare of pain, fatigue, brain fog, and phlegm, I am here to tell you what you can do about it. I am board certified in oriental medicine, and a big chunk of my clinical practice for the last 15 years has been helping people recover from things that started with a virus like IBS, fibromyalgia, or long COVID. You can recover from these things, and you can recover from them naturally most of the time, but you cannot recover from them if you do not rest. Well, what does resting even mean? Doctors of Chinese medicine, and probably also your grandma, have been saying that rest is the key to recovery for thousands of years, with multiple sage physicians commenting in their journals about how those who work while sick are doomed to stay sick. And I'm doomed. And your grandma lovingly throwing you shade until you turn off your phone and go back to bed. They talk about how important it is to rest, sip thin soups, and take medicinal herbs. And to avoid stressful or depleting behaviors like exhaustive work, sexy fun times, or worry. Live in the now, they say. And by that they mean stare out the window, groan a little, and take that extra nap. Be bored. It's good for you. Now I'm bored. And just like avoiding the cold and drinking only warm water, science has your grandma's back. Sleep deprivation is one of the best ways to make acute inflammation like a virus become chronic inflammation like fibromyalgia. Sleep deprivation directly induces higher inflammatory cytokines like IL-6, TNF-alpha, and C-reactive protein. To get the best chance of getting the best night's sleep, here are sleep hygiene practices I recommend. Follow the 3-2-1 rule. Three hours before bedtime, no food. Two hours before bedtime, no drinks, unless you need to take a little medicine at bedtime, then just a little sip to get that pill down. One hour before before bedtime, no screens. You can do a foot soak, read a book by dim light, or trade foot massages with your partner. Sleep in a room that is cool enough that you need a nice hefty blanket to stay warm. And if you snore, consider nasal strips, mouth taping, or a sleep study. Also, make sure you're going to bed within a 30 minute window every night. Your circadian rhythms love consistency. And you should go to bed early enough that you can sleep as long as you need to, and get ready for whatever you have to do the next day without setting an alarm.